Hello guys, my name is Miguel Jess Segala, BSc 3D, subject Dynamics of Rigid Bodies. We're going to talk about absolute motion. A wheel of radius R rolls on a flat surface without slipping. Determine A. The angular motion of the wheel in terms of linear motion of its center O. B. The acceleration of point on the rim of the wheel as the point comes into contact with the surface on which the wheel rolls. As we can see in the figure, the wheel rolls to the right from the broken rim to the pull position without slipping. The linear displacement center O is equivalent to S, which S is equivalent to C' prime A. After the wheel rolls, center C is here, and also the center O is here. So, C prime A is equivalent to S along the rim which the wheel rolls. So, line CO rotates from C prime O through angle theta, which our angle theta is measured by vertical direction. So, if the wheel has no slipping, the arc C prime A is equal to the distance S. Thus, displacement relationship to the derivative give the first relation which discussed from the rotation. Which is S is equal to R theta initial velocity equal to R angular initial acceleration equals to R angular acceleration. Initial velocity can be written as S prime, which is the first derivative of the position. And our initial acceleration can be written as S double prime, which is the second derivative of the position. The angle theta must be in radians if we put it in a value. And the acceleration AO will be directed in sense opposite of initial velocity. So if the wheel slow down, in other terms deceleration, and in this event, the angular acceleration alpha will have sense opposite to the angular velocity. Therefore, this is the answer for letter A. For letter B, in the problem, there's no given value, but we can get the answer in terms of variable. The origin fixed coordinate is taken arbitrarily but conveniently of the point between point C of the rim of the wheel and the ground. So if point C move along the path until point C prime, the coordinate time will change. So for coordinate x, x is equals to s minus r sine theta which s is equal to r theta so substitute x equals to r theta minus sine theta and x prime r theta prime quantity 1 minus cosine theta then which is r theta r theta prime is equals to initial b initial so substitute x prime is equals to b initial 1 minus cosine theta then x double prime is equals to b o prime 1 minus cosine theta plus initial velocity theta prime sine theta and x double prime is equal to which is b o theta by b o prime is equal to accelerate initial acceleration so substitute initial acceleration is times 1 minus cosine theta plus and our initial velocity theta prime is equal to r angular squared so r angular squared sine theta so for 
our coordinate y y is equals to r minus r cosine theta so y equals r factor out 1 minus cosine theta so our y prime is equals to r theta prime sine theta so our theta prime r theta prime is equals to initial velocity y prime is equals to initial velocity sine theta and then our double y prime is equals to initial velocity prime sine theta plus initial velocity theta prime cosine theta and then substituting substitute the bo prime ao sa initial velocity acceleration so y double prime is equals to acceleration initial sine theta plus so bo theta prime is equals to r angular squared r angular squared cosine theta so don't confuse here because we only use differentiation for designing the sense of contact if angle is equals to zero x double prime is equal zero and then y double prime is equals to r angular squared so this is the answer for letter b acceleration of point c on the rim instead of contact with the ground depends only on radius and omega will be directed toward the center of the wheel so take note that the application of kinematic relationship of in the wheel if the wheel has slip while rolling the relation will not be longer valid. Thank you for watching.